Hello everyone, there's a brand new challenge moon in Lethal Company, ENF-13. I'm pretty sure it just came out like a couple hours ago. It could have came out a couple days ago, I'm not really sure. I haven't been paying too much attention to these. Same purple suit as always in the challenge moon, and let's just get started. So it'll be a random main map in the game, you know, like different maps in the challenge moons. I am lagging a little bit today, I don't know why, so sorry about that. Alright, so it looks like it's offense again. It, offense has already been a challenge moon. I'm pretty sure the challenge moods have been like Rend, Offense, Offense again, Vow, March, and Assurance. I'm pretty sure have been the only um, Assurance, Assurance. I'm not really sure how to say it. So we're just going to go over to the inside and we're going to see what it's like. Okay, so there's a bunch of things blocking the way to get to the main entrance. Yo, that actually makes it pretty difficult. Well, I mean, you don't technically have to come back this way at all. You can just grab stuff and then throw them down and run back to the entrance without actually jumping down. If you kind of just walk up over to the ledge of the wall and do that. So let's just go in. I have no idea what to expect. Climb up the ladder. Go over to the main entrance. There's probably going to be a lot of items. I could have scanned. The scanning thing's usually wrong anyway. They kind of have to fix that. I don't know how easy it is to fix that on the random seed game. But the mod, or what am I saying? The auto scan is kind of weird when you scan for how many items there are in the uh, in the map. It is never correct. It doesn't show the value right at all. It always shows more value than they're worth it. And it shows usually more items than there actually are. Oh, there's a big ball right there. I haven't seen too much, but I've only searched like two rooms. So I don't think that means anything yet. So... Like on this way out. Okay, so we've got a key and a large axle right here. I'll hold on to the key, but I'll drop the big bolt and large axle outside. And then later, I can just keep bringing this stuff. Like, I can drop them down the stairs already instead of actually, like, going down the stairs the first. Alright, so we've got a little tunnel. Hopefully not a labyrinth, but it probably will be one. Oh, that's a, that's a turret right there. I saw it, but I just kept looking at it. I don't know what I was doing. Was I trying to get shot there? Like, I saw the turret, but I was just staring at it. Oh, that's the turret. Oh, for a second there, I thought I was about to get shot. Like, I thought there was, like, a secondary one or something because of the reflection that it puts out. Okay, so there's a lot of closed doors. We got Y5 right there. We had E whatever back here. So there's a lot of closed doors. All right, where's the turret? I don't want to walk, like, right in front of it. There it is. Okay. Can we run around it? It's not going to shoot me, is it? No. I'm probably going to find some sort of monster. Or something soon. I can't be safe for long, but I might honestly... I mean, you can't go to the fire exit. I'm trying to find another area. So far, the interior has given me two items. Well, technically three items. I'm not really finding anything at all right now. I might need to go back to the ship and open doors. I don't think I'll have to. Oh, wait. There was other rooms right here. What am I doing? There was another room right here. I didn't even have to go into the labyrinth. Any items here? No. Nope. Dang, this is a dark map. Dark weekly moon this time. So there's the fire exit. So now we know there's no point for me to go to the fire exit because it literally just connects with the main entrance. Um, go in here. Oh, uh, I think this is going to be the room with the apparatus. Yep. Got an apparatus in here. Stop sign. So I'll just leave the key right here. I don't need the key. Who needs the key, honestly? And then we can go drop this stuff out the... I mean, I want to drop them out the main entrance, but we'll just do fire exit. I'll be able to get back to the main entrance. I won't be able to get back to the fire exit. So let's go. Well, I will if I just go in the main entrance and run down. You get the point. It'll be a lot harder to go the fire exit. Okay, let's wait a second to get the apparatus. Just in case, eh? Oh, uh, yeah, there's nothing else here, so I think I'm gonna grab the apparatus right now. Might as well take my key, too. Then we'll bring the stuff back to the ship. And honestly, I might just turn in the stuff I have right now. For this round. Like, I'm not really finding anything else. We're gonna take this stuff. There's still my one thing right here. Wait, can I just drop the key? We can drop it inside. Do I have things here yeah i do so take this stuff and i'll probably be able to just drop this down and then i'll be able to go grab it after so i can run this stuff down drop it over the edge without falling and then run back and carry that all back to the ship 
that won't be too difficult to do as long as I do it right. Because if I don't do it right, I'm not getting back up here. So I might have to try and like jump on the ledge or something like that. So let's go over. I'd say right about here is fine. And you know what? Let me just go. Oh, there's an eyeless dog. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to drop it right by the ship. The eyeless dog is going to be a big problem. This is just like the last one when an eyeless dog spawned somewhere around one. Now, I'm pretty sure he can hear me. I'm pretty sure he can hear me. I don't fall. All right, that's good. Now we just got to go back and grab the tattered metal sheet. And then I can probably just run back in the fire exit now that I think about it. And run back towards the main entrance. So I'm going to take... I only had two items. So we're going to take this key and tattered metal sheet. I'm going to run back to the main entrance. And I'm going to drop the two things off. But there's probably some big rooms with a lot of items near this area. Like in that labyrinth at the start. I got to remember, I took the apparatus. So dangerous things are probably spawned in at this point. But the main entrance is right here. So we're good. Yep, we did not get killed. Of course, the front is blocked up. Okay, so I did have, uh... I did have, uh, bottles as well. We're just gonna drop that there. We'll grab that last. <sighs> this is gonna be, uh, difficult to do. This is going to be difficult to do indeed. Oh my god, there's one up here. Hopefully it doesn't block this spot. Okay, it doesn't, it doesn't. That's good. So I'm gonna drop everything down. And then I'm going to have to try and take everything back to the ship. I don't think the eyeless dog's going to despawn. And if it does, it won't despawn yet. So, boom, boom, boom. Alright, the last item we need to grab is back over at the bottom of these stairs. So, let's go over here. Take this. Now, we'll just walk back. We're going to have to go pick up some things that we dropped so that I actually hold some stuff. Because so I want to be able to do this in three trips. That's the most it's going to take. Just three trips. Okay, I'm going to be quiet. Sadly, guys. So I'm not going to talk for a second because there's an eyeless dog. Here we go. There's two. There wouldn't be any sandworms there, but there was literally a sandworm right there. Dang, okay. I see how it is, Lethal Company. You put a sandworm when there's two eyeless dogs. How am I supposed to get back to the ship like that? Okay, so we'll do one more attempt where I'm just gonna try and grab the things by the apparatus and bring them back. Let's see what place I get. If it's over a thousand, that means that this did not just come out. Yeah, no, this has been out for a while, but I'll call it new because I have not played it yet. ENF 13. So what I got to do, this is like a strategy, sort of. We go out here right away. Okay, we got to hurry. We got to hurry. Climb. Jump. Yep, now we're on here to go right to the fire exit. Without extension ladders, this is the only way to get there because you cannot run up there. Like you'll see, there's no way to actually run up there. Now, I think if I can just get this stuff and bring it back before the dog even comes. I'm not going to get a high rank, though, now that I think about it, because this did not just come out. But that's fine. We don't need a high rank. I just need to turn in a couple of items. I need to turn in a couple of items to see, like, how many items there actually are. So, we have the tattered metal sheet right there. The clown horns right here. We do not need the metal sheet, honestly. Um... In here, magnifying glass. There's something back here. Stop sign. Dang. Oh, I'm not even heavy because the clown horn and the magnifying glass made nothing. 
Oh, I guess they do. Some stop signs, or maybe it's just the yield signs. Maybe the stop signs and yield signs always weigh the same. But it's one of the two. Stop signs or yield signs weigh 45 pounds. I think it's random how much they weigh. Alright, screw the tattered metal sheet. We're just going to bring this stuff straight back to the ship, and then I'm going to go ahead and start it. Because for sure the dog hasn't spawned in. A dog is not going to spawn in at 9.30 a.m. They usually wait till at least 12. Sometimes they spawn in at 11, but that's rare. So it'll be the same every time on this map. But I doubt it spawns in until at least one or two. Do a little bit of parkour. We you, you cannot do any kind of parkour in this game if you don't have infinite sprint. Especially if you have items on you. Yeah, I don't think this drop will damage me. It probably... Yeah, it didn't. Nice. So I'm just going to take this back and start it. And I want to do a scan to see how many items there actually are. There must be a decent amount of items. This can't be like a 10 item weekly move. So drop, 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 drop. Oh. Scan. 27 more objects outside the ship. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start it. But there must be some important area that I'm just completely missing. Because I am not looting anything in that area. I did not find any items in that labyrinth. Just besides the turret. Not even any locked doors that could take you somewhere. But at least we know right by the fire exit it's just the apparatus and there's nothing else there. So if you were doing it with four people, just one person could go there quick and get the stuff easy. So let's see. Grade C is not horrible. My rank won't go down, but it shouldn't go up. 212, your rank, 8,740. So I'm sure if I came in here with my friends and we found like $1,000 worth of items, we'd probably get like 100th place. So that's going to be all for this video. That was the new weekly moon in Lethal Company, ENF13. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.